Hey everybody. So this is just going to be a short little video to show you this cool little prop that was used in the movie The Day After Tomorrow. So um, I this movie came out in 2004 and I can't remember if it was a made-for-TV movie or if it was in theaters. I It was such a long time ago I, I do remember seeing it but I was mainly watching it for the special effects and that <laughs> that movie actually um, was heralded for its special effects because it had this huge scene where a big tidal wave comes crashing into New York. And I think that was very early CGI uh, type of special effects back then. So the movie was kind of a big deal for that. So um, anyway, at the very beginning of the movie, there's some scientists up in the Arctic, I think, and uh, they were taking ice samples. And, um, and this prop is seen in that scene. Now this is a of course, it's not real ice, but this thing is, uh, first of all, it is heavy. This thing is <laughs> a really heavy piece. And so uh, you can briefly see this for just a few seconds at the beginning. And it's one of the ice core samples that one of the scientists uh, picks up and takes out. And uh, here, I'll show you some clips from the movie. All right, so here's a screen grab from the movie. Um, so it's this happens right at the very beginning of the movie, like I mentioned. And so here it is. Uh, they're up in the Arctic, and this is the ice core piece right here, the ice core sample. And there's another one over here, but this one looks more frosted. And uh, the one I have is this one here. It's kind of got a yellowish greenish tint to it. And so there you can see it's, uh, you know, laying outside of the sample tube. So here we, we can see that the actor, I can't remember who this was. This might be Dennis Quaid. I can't remember. It's been such a long time since I've seen this movie. But you can see he's about ready to uh, grab the uh, core sample. Now here he is sliding it into the tube, and the way it looked in the movie, it looks like this was a really long piece, like it goes all the way back here, but now that we've seen what it actually looks like, it, you know, we know, we know it's only about this short. And that's probably the same thing for that piece too, I'm sure. So here he is sliding it into the tube right there, and then there, that's the last bit that you see of it. So it's, it's only on screen for maybe a whopping four seconds, three or four seconds, it's, it's amazing. Uh, how short of a screen time it has, but it's still cool to see it. All right, so looking back at this thing now, so uh, this thing is really cool. I, I'm actually pretty impressed at the fact that they went through so much effort to make this, and it looks like a real chunk of ice, and it's amazing they put this much effort into it, considering that it's only on screen for, you know, a few seconds. So it's interesting to see how it was made. It, it looks like it was a clear... Uh, tube. You can see it around the outside edge here. It was like a clear acrylic tube or something. And then they just filled it with whatever this material is. It looks like, uh, I don't really know what that is, to be honest with you. It's some kind of a gel that hardened. Here's the other side of it. So you can kind of see how that looks. But if you look at the texture on the inside, it does look like ice. I mean, you can see little chips and fractures and uh, cuts and stuff like that in there. And even the outside has kind of like this rough uh, kind of look to it. I, this thing is so heavy. I mean, it's almost it actually kind of hurts my back just to, <laughs> to lift it. It's it's really a solid chunk of resin or whatever this is. It's just crazy, but you can see all the really nice detail they put into this. And so it's kind of a shame that it uh, got such a, a short screen time considering the effort that was put into this. But that just goes to show you, you know, um, how these prop guys can uh, make these kinds of things and and as I've mentioned in previous videos, I have so much respect for them because they make these things look so cool and oftentimes they have such short screen time that they don't really get appreciated or they end up on the cutting room floor and you don't even get to see it at all. But anyway, so yeah, uh, that's it. That was just a short little video, but I thought you'd be interested in seeing this cool looking ice core sample. So uh, yeah, it's from the movie The Day After Tomorrow from 2004, I think is what I said. I can't remember. <laughs> all right, well anyway. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate that. So thank you again and have a good one.